Hi, this is Lou Anella at Oklahoma State University, and today I'd like to talk about automating greenhouse irrigation using a tensiometer. A tensiometer is a device that uh, measures soil suction, measures the amount of moisture in the soil, and with that device, hopefully we can automate greenhouse irrigation. The alternative, of course, is to have people decide when the crop needs to be irrigated. But, using a tensiometer like this one from the Orometer Company in Riverside, California, we can put this device in the crop, in the soil, and get it to measure the soil moisture. And so, when the crop needs to be watered, it'll automatically be watered. This device has a ceramic tip at the base, and that absorbs water. And as the water dries from that tip, it makes the dial move, and can control whether or not electricity flows through the device. When you get the device, a solution is comes with the device that needs to be mixed up and put into the tensiometer. So remove the cap and using the syringe place the solution down into the tube of the tensiometer. And then you have to use that same syringe to try to pull the air out of the tensiometer so that it's mostly solution in there. So pull very gently until you're reading about 35 centibars and then it's also important to remove the syringe slowly so that that needle doesn't bang against the stop. So then once you feel you've done that a few times and you feel you have the air out of the tensiometer, top it off, place the cap back on, and the tensiometer is ready to use. Here we're using Arometer's model MLT, a tensiometer designed specifically for greenhouse mixes. So we put the tensiometer into the pot, the ceramic tip is down in the soil, and I have the tensiometer suspended on a wire frame that I built just by bending some wire. And we have the tensiometer wired between the solenoid valve and the transformer. So the transformer is plugged into the wall and when the soil gets dry enough it closes the switch on the tensiometer and it allows the solenoid to open the valve and water flows through this strip irrigation system. We did have three different crops growing with this one tensiometer and I thought that might be an issue but it really turned out not to be. We did put the tensiometer in the margarita sweet potato which we figured would be the crop that would require the most amount of water. So here are some plants that were watered in a more traditional manner. These are the same three species, um, and they were on trip irrigation, but they were controlled by students coming in and deciding when to water. Now, look at the plants that were on the automated irrigation. So it looks, you know, a lot more impressive here because we have solid benches of plants, but I think you can agree that we did get more growth off of the plants on the automated irrigation. So here they are side by side. The one on the left was with students deciding when the plants should be watered, coming in once a day and checking on the plants. The one on the right is watered with the tensiometers automated irrigation system. Same thing here. The ruby grass on the left is watered by students coming in and checking once a day. The one on the right is watered with the automated irrigation system. Uh, probably the biggest difference we saw was in the margarita sweet potato. Again, the one on the left is watered by students coming in every day. The one on the right was clipped back a couple times because we were getting so much growth and also sprayed with a growth regulator twice. So, even if we didn't get greater growth, and this is not a scientific study, so I have to be careful about the conclusions I make, but even if we didn't get greater growth on these plants, we certainly did save a tremendous amount of labor with the automated irrigation. So, I leave it up to you to look at these plants, look at these results, and see whether or not you think it might be worth doing automated irrigation. But for our purposes in the greenhouse with students coming into water each day, we really thought we had a huge savings in labor by using tensiometers, drip irrigation, and automated irrigation. Thanks.